Welcome to the Love and Victory Show with Val, the place to laugh, sip on a little wine, and have open and honest conversation. Here you will find the tools to resolve real life issues. Unwind, pour up a glass, and get ready to exhale. Hello, welcome to the Love and Victory Show with Val. This is your host, Val, and I have Style Kita here. We have a show uh, today that is going to be fantastic. Know your audience. Kita. Yes. The Kita. Yes. Okay, tell the people who you are and how did we meet? Well, well, well. I, do we have enough time? We for have that? time for that, <laughs> I tell you. Uh, yeah, just tell them. Okay, well... My name is Vakita Sin, also known on Instagram as Style Kita, <laughs> and I own a boutique here in Little Rock, Arkansas, Bold Visage. Mm -hmm. And let's remember, I think it was about three years ago. Three years ago. Three years ago. You and your husband walk into my boutique because yes. you was needing an outfit. <laughs> And it was so crazy. I was just, I was actually running over to Target and I saw this beautiful, unique boutique that was just sitting in this odd space. Right. And I told my husband, I'm not going to TJ Maxx. I'm going over to, let's go over here. Right. Mm -hmm. And you came in and you was like, I need an outfit. And, and I was like, welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. And then, um, of course, my store is a one stop shop. So once she said she needed, an outfit, outfit for an event. I said, you at the right place. She did. Because this is the one-stop shop. Mm -hmm. So we can, like, curl your hair, do your makeup, find your outfit, everything. And so it was like a girl's day out. I think it was. And then my husband, remember, he sat down on, because yeah. you even had a spot for yeah. him. So she had a whole sofa. Yes. And he sat down, and I think I ended up just... He watched me as I yes. kind of came yes. out. It was just a really great experience. Yes, it was, it was a really nice experience. And you got an outfit, and mm -hmm. you said, I'm going to come back later, and I'm going to do my makeup. I came back the next the day. The next day. Because I was going to an event. Yes. And she beat my face for the gods. Yes. You remember that? Yes. And we oh. had so much fun. Yes. And that is how we just blossomed, like, our friendship. It's just, like... Just overnight. And yes. then you've been coming up, coming up. And For the last three years, I have been coming back and forth. And every two weeks, I find my way over to her boutique. Yes. But since then, uh, you have grown so much. Uh, yes. I, I think about, and I always, this here, Know Your Audience, really uh, plays a big part into our relationship and how and watching you grow. One of the things that I like about you, you were so genuine from the beginning. Uh, she did not, uh, when you walked into her establishment, you felt like you were at home. And I felt like I had met a girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, and one of the things that I liked so much about you, it was more of just natural. You know, you weren't trying to oversell. You weren't trying to be some of these people that just try to upsell you. Yeah. You know, you just felt like this is a place you can just come in yeah. and relax. But you went from just doing the, not just doing, you were doing hair and you had your, your uh, boutique. And now you are an influencer. Yes. For Amazon. And yes. Talk about knowing your audience. How did that come about? Or tell us about that. Well, um, I started doing influencer work like, I would say right when you came in my store, but I wasn't so aggressive doing it. So I just decided to try to work with um, different brands because I was getting my master's degree in digital entrepreneurship. And she, one of two of my professors was like, hey, maybe work with bigger brands because mm. you're a smaller brand. So you don't want to work with something small. You want to kind of... Yeah. Okay. To grow, you have to learn to work with bigger brands. Okay. You know, so... Taking um, notes, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so just in retail and doing everything. So once you start working with bigger brands and just me being an influencer, Vogue Visage was already a established brand, brand mm -hmm. here in Little Rock, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. So when I decided to step into influence, I was like, well... I'm going to try to do this. Mm -hmm. So um, I started with work, uh, working with other brands, like it to know it. And then, of course, I started with Amazon. When I applied for both brands, Amazon Influencer approved me right then. Mm -hmm. 
Like It to Know is another brand uh, that does also uh, brand affiliation, like um, you can make commission off. Okay. So they have um, different rules and how to how get to approved. Do, right. So I was like, okay, I got Amazon. I'm fine, you know. Right. So then I just started with Amazon, just speeding the process up. Finally, Like It to Know got on. I got approved for that. And so then we hit the pandemic. I was still in school because I was online. I was like, oh, my goodness, this is about to take me down Out. through here, mm -hmm. okay? Tired. My business, everything. And so I was like. But you never stopped because I, every two weeks that I came in, you were still open. Yes. Or I you, never you did. just opening for me because you know I had no, an issue. No, I never <laughs> did. It was a blessing that yes. I never did stop. You know, I did receive grants from our state. Um, I, that's our governor now, Sarah mm -hmm. Helkaby. She gave me a grant for my business. Mm. Um, <laughs> and um, um, I got other grants from PPP. You know, oh, it was, I, I, I did get, because when you have your ducks in a row, you you're know, able to get that assistance that you needed so yes. that your business can keep going. Yeah, so I received, you know, Sunset. I was applying for grants yes. just to keep the business it's afloat. Well, good. And so... When I started doing that, I was like, okay, Vikita, you're you still gotta be relevant. So I started like getting dressed in my closet and just showing people, okay, when we get to go back outside, you can wear this to brunch. You can wear this And to she literally that blew me away because she her closet, I think I was more uh blown away with your shoe closet because I'm yes. a shoe fan. Yes. And she literally has a wall. I mean, I'm not talking about just a little wall, <laughs> a wall of shoes. And I hear it's even more, so much so yeah. that she has a whole room. Yeah. And that just been in fashion for so long and um catching good deals. And yeah. I made a shoe haul. Oh, yeah. And so I just started um, sharing my fashion like on social media. And so, you know, one video, you know, you think, okay, it's okay. It's at, you know, 400. Well, it started like 20K. And then yeah. I get another video on social media that's at 500K. And then I get another one that's, I said, I said well, hey, they like it. Yeah. And so, this is how we started with Amazon. So I said, every time I was doing the fashion, I would have like fashion for my boutique or, or like old fashioned. Because yes. you got to understand this. Some of this stuff was not like brand new because the city was closed. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Yes. So I had to use what you had. What I had. So once we started opening up, I said, I'm going to just do everything from Amazon and let me just see how this would go. Well, I think one of the things that I liked about your style mm -hmm. and your fashion is that she, you know, a lot of times we go and get these models and none of the models look like you. Yeah. And she wore her own style. Right. And so her style was one that is for the uh, the younger or it's from the older, but it's classy. Right. So uh, that's what I like. And you can actually look at her body size and see how something fits on her. And then it kind of just, oh. I look good in that too. Well, and you see, that's just how my customers shop. You know, they mm -hmm. they look and they say, okay, if she could fit it, then I could fit it. And, yes. And that's what I started doing with Amazon. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, look at me. I wear this size mm -hmm. and this is what. And, and I would even, this is how bad I was. <laughs> she can be doing a live. This is when you talk about know your audience. I, she would be doing a live and I'll say, okay, now what size is that? Yeah. So what I mean, literally doing her live, I would send her messages and her other people would send you messages yeah. and, and ask you what size they would wear. And she would respond to you. Yeah. You know, a lot of influencers are so caught up in their yeah. their I, thing. They have removed themselves from treating their customers. We yeah. are their customers like they're human beings. Right. It's all about the money. And I think that's what makes you so unique and so yeah. special. And then just, um, well, one thing is like, while well, I was saying it like with the Amazon, I just did one video and then it just blew up. Mm -hmm. And then after that blew up, then Amazon, that's when I, Amazon reached out to me and said, hey, you... You like got this. that in. You got this. And then they was like, we want you to do Amazon Live. Mm. And so that opened the market for, for me. Amazon to, Live. Yes. And then I'm able to, but just now, like this, like we could be live and I'm just trying on the clothes and people can just talk. And then I, I chat with them. And, and you also do something else. Isn't it like a storefront? Something you have now? Yeah. Okay, so it's a lot going on with her. And I'm just going to, I'm trying to get her there, get you guys there, because really it's important, you know, know your audience. There are people that are going to come in your life that can, 
you may not think today there's someone they can help you with something mm -hmm. or you can help them. Just know your audience. Uh, take every encounter um, special. Yes. You know, if I would have just came into your store and just... Oh, God, it's not for me. Turn and walk away. I would have right. missed out on a friendship. Right. You know, so uh, just know your audience. So let's yeah. talk about the storefront thing mm -hmm. with Amazon. Yeah, okay. yeah. So with the storefront, I have, I try to share a fashion that's, no, well. Okay, so what is the difference between Amazon Live and Amazon Storefront? Okay, so all of it's still Amazon. Amazon Live is a live try on haul. So I'm on Amazon, the website, and I'm trying on the clothes, and you can chat, and you can shop. Mm -hmm. It's live shopping, mm -hmm. okay? So it's you don't have to go anywhere, figure it out. You literally will look at it and look and click and shop and check out. Okay. So that's the advantage of that one. So the storefront is everything that I've shared on my social media, and, and if I have it on Amazon, you would go to the storefront and find it. So that kind of makes it another easy so way. So you can to actually go out. back to it later, and if you ever wore it, you can yeah, go back in the box. Yeah, I, all my lives are on the storefront. And then throughout, you know, because some stuff I might have on, like today, if I have this outfit on, it's not going to be on live, but it might be on my storefront because I took a picture on with it. Okay. So what is the, I, I saw something now from there, you say you get with larger brands. Mm -hmm. So you have Amazon, mm -hmm. but I also saw you at a casino. Uh, yeah. What is that about? Well, I'm with, I'm, I'm partnered with Chata Casino and they have like three casinos. And, um, what I do for them is actually go to their location and I actually like, they're big with their influencers, but they really want real real like the, the just, real like the genuine yeah. people that are real that yeah. you can relate to so i go to the hotel i actually feel it out i actually want to capture what you might feel in this casino you know like it's not a just about the casino because everybody think like i'm just going to the casino i'm just for the win some money it no. is no it's it's a whole experience <laughs> and i like that with hot top casino because they have like the last casino i went to was the uh casino in durant mm -hmm. it well, had from texas so where is durant at in Oklahoma. So okay, it's a okay. little before you get to Dallas, Texas, okay, I want to say. Okay. Because um, I believe that people would drive up to, yes, Oklahoma. From, to Oklahoma to that yes. casino. Yes. But that casino actually have a movie theater. I've never been to a casino that, that physically have a theater in it. And then you, was, you was at one that also has the golf course. Because she, she put on these yeah. clothes to go golfing. I was like, right, but see, I want the outfit just to put it on to make myself look like I'm going But golfing. see, that casino didn't have a golf course. It was like 30 minutes away from Top Golf, And oh. Top Golf. So they chose you to do something for them too? Yeah, so they, when about, they partnered See? with they partnered with Top Golf, and I was able to do all that. And that Top Golf was fancy. I'm, I'm just going to let you know. It, <laughs> it was, was fancy. A, baby, yeah. I, I can't wait to go back. Okay, okay. So with the, with the casino, it's just all different. I try to do lifestyle. So that's where it becomes style, key to lifestyle. Okay, gotcha. So you. that it is, it's about the fashion, and it's where you're putting the fashion in your lifestyle. Okay, so I'm going to bring y'all into something else. I know it's a lot about her, and we're kind of taking this fast, but she's really, oh, God, she's more than just a beautiful face. She's a huge business personality. She also does interior design. Okay, let's go there a little bit. <laughs> I just do a touch of it. Uh, no, you do... See, that's what I love about her. She's so humble. I mean, this girl knows style like there is no tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, in my home right now, I have two pictures mm -hmm. that I, well, I have quite a few things in my home, but two pictures that I bought from her store mm -hmm. front because I actually have been looking at it for a couple of uh, oh, a couple of trips down, yeah. and I just said I gotta get it. And I came in the store, and it was still there. And actually, there are statement pieces in my home. Right. And so she takes the little, small, simple things that you would probably overlook and make them statement pieces in your home. And yes. so that's what I like to talk about a little bit. Where did you get this gift? Did it come from your mom? Did it come from something you wanted to do, your grandmother? Where well, did you get it was this? from my mom. My mom always loved fashion, and she always loved home. Mm -hmm. You know, um, home interior. She loves to decorate. Like, my mom loves it, and she loves fashion. And I was just, 
I, you know, I just watched my mom as a little girl. Like most kids, they just watch their mom or their dad. And, and you know, you either want to like, I'm going to be just like them or I'm going to be the opposite, you know? Yes. So it, with me, it was like, oh, I'm going to be just like my mom. My mom, I, I just, I love her style. She's amazing. Yeah. And she is a stylish woman. And I tell you, uh, her and I too have yeah. connected. But it's, it's weird that my mom and I have different styles, but we meet in the same place. I, you Can know? I tell you something? Mm-hmm. Um, um, I think y'all, you say that a lot. Mm-hmm. The style is different, but the style is both classy. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's what makes it, uh, you guys, so uniquely blend and beautifully mixed together yes. because it's still classy. You yeah. know, you can still put on a dress and show a little cleavage right. and still be classy versus right. that other thing. Yeah, so, yeah. My right. mom, she could be. Um, I don't know what you want to call because she conservative, she, a little conservative, but she could be a little edgy. I I could be edgy, and then depend on what I'm showing up to, and maybe I throw up the conservative. <laughs> it just depends on where I'm going. You know, we just so um, back to our uh, know your audience. If you went back, and we're gonna kind of, I know I have to. The team is looking at me like this is you're gonna keep going, mm-hmm. or we're gonna cut it, but. Uh, if you had to look back three years from now, or mm-hmm. three years ago, did you imagine yourself being here, or do you imagine yourself being much further? Um, if I would have looked... Just no. look back. If I look back at three years, you have to understand, when I met you, I was going through um, a, a bad time in my life. Everybody has a season. So that time in my life, I was going through a detox, as in removing toxic people out of my life, you know? And so when you met me, I was going through like, oh man, I'm just, just trying to breathe. I'm just trying to breathe. I got, I'm trying to live, you know? And, you know, I was in a bad relationship. Well, so. can I say something to mm-hmm. you on that? Uh, the fact that you can say three years ago when we met mm-hmm. that you were just trying to breathe. What I saw when I first met you is this woman that was just, you had so much light Mm -hmm. around you, and all I wanted to do was connect. Right. And so when I came to Little Rock, not knowing anyone, um, Little Rock was never on my um, path or journey to come. So Mm -hmm. when I came here, and I'll be leaving here uh, in February, I feel like I met a family. This is my second home. Right. I met a sister. Right. Uh, and so you had so much, you have so much light that I just wanted to connect right. and stay there. And so you really helped me through some times that were really right. difficult. Yeah. And, and that's what sisterhood is. You, yeah. didn't, you never know what people are going through and, um, you know, what, what, what it, what the outcome would be. Know so your like audience. three years ago, yeah. I just didn't know that my audience was going to be for me to share fashion or to share my home tips. And it was your healing. Yeah, and healing. And I share it, you know, and social media, you know how it is. You just kind of don't know how much to share. And I was able to share enough that I feel like I can connect with my audience because so many people say, Vikita, I look up to you. I I inspire your fashion. Oh, I'm going to be just like that, yeah. you know, because I, I, I would be vocal like, hey, I got through this. Mm-hmm. We could get through this. Well, you know, one of the things that I'm going to go back to you and we don't have to go into, we mm-hmm. go into wherever we want. You say you were in a, um, you just got out of a toxic relationship. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about toxicity in, in relationships mm-hmm. and coming out of it, especially for women. Mm-hmm. When you found yourself, or how did you know you needed to get out of it? What was the turning point for you? And then still keep your business going. You know, or did you feel like giving up on your business? N- My turning point with leaving that was, it was no return. Mm. Have you ever had a situation that you said, there's no return from this? And so not having a return... I said, when you say a no return, you said, if I stay there, I'm not going to make it. If I go, yeah. I just, what, what do you mean? I, by when that? I said no return, is like some people, they in a relationship, they feel like I can work it out. Mm-hmm. I can fix it. We could go to counsel. We could do this. Yes. This will work. Well, no. No. 
that's not that I it was a situation that I was like, Nikita, at this point, mm, you got you're you. losing yourself. Mm. So I was down in a hole. Mm. And look at you now. Yes, and I kept trying to as soon as I you know how you trying to climb out the hole and then more dirt come down. <laughs> so that was a la- last pile of dirt. <laughs> the last pile. Wow. And so once I realized just dig a little and go down this tunnel mm. and you'll get out. And so that's what I decided to do was instead of trying to climb up to that same toxic, I decide look down in this dirt that I'm in. And find another route. Find another route. Wow. And so I just found another route. And that route actually had a better light because that tunnel was still, still dark. Still dark. And you couldn't even see I, your way once out I, of it. Once I moved and then I saw another light, it was a bigger light. And then I didn't, wasn't even prepared for this light. You know, and it's about knowing your audience again. It's like this was a new light that someone, I would say God, wanted me to share. And, and he got him. He has got me to where I'm at now. And that, with that being said, uh, knowing your audience, mm-hmm. God put certain people in your place. Mm-hmm. He, he opened up certain doors for you. Do you find yourself being a person that, uh, as you're working with women and, and encouraging women, you kind of help them along the way, or you identify some of those same dark places that you yeah. were in, and you kind of, how do you help women? Well, if I that? feel, I, I share my story, because I, you know, sometimes if you just share a little of your story, and versus a lot of people in my state, they knew both of us, mm. you know, my, my ex, they knew both of us. So, so it, you, you was just out there. Yeah, I was out there. So I knew that once I got strength, I could not share at first. Mm -hmm. I couldn't share at first. You know, when you're going through something. Oh, you can't talk about that. You can't talk about it. Till you become stronger, Mm -hmm. you know, till you got better. So then when I saw myself getting stronger and able to share more, then I would share. I would, you know, I would share like, hey, it can, you can remove yourself. You can get get out out of this. You can do it. You know, I was so scared, and I don't know why was I scared. You had the strength. You didn't think you had the strength. No, I didn't think I had the strength. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't. You know, you have to think about it. When you're in that situation, you don't know it. Yeah. So, you know, I think, uh, I, I know we, we need to have a part two, part three, part four <laughs> of this. Uh, Makita, you are such an amazing woman. You are an inspiration to so many women. Mm-hmm. Uh, as I told you, told you about me when I came here, I uh, absolutely love Little Rock. Little Rock has become my second home. I've met some amazing people. Now, I've met some crazy people here, right. too. But that's everywhere you go. Yes. Little Rock has some great gems, and I do think that uh, your store is a great gem here in Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, I have to, before I leave this place, I have to take a quick run over there so they can get a little footage of that store <laughs> because yeah. i got to peep and see if there's anything I want to buy. Yeah. But uh, it's a great show, uh, store. Won't you tell them where they can find you at? And uh, we'll make sure that we tag you under. And then what do you want to leave the audience with about you or about your store or the next thing that's happening in your next big thing that's happening in your life okay so my let's just start with the location I'm located 9100 North Rodney Parham Little Rock Arkansas we're right next door to TJ Maxx Mm -hmm. so that is where I'm located and you can also shop online (laughs) at www.vote V O G U E dash beside V I S A G E dot com. And also, Vogue means fashion mm. in French. Okay. And beside <laughs> in French means faces. So that is how. You came up with that name. Yes, because we do faces yeah. and we do fashion. Okay, I love yeah. that. Now, what's the next, the big, next big thing that we got to have here on the Love and Victory Show? <sighs> Share it with us the next big thing. Oh, let me see. I don't. Oh, it's something big. Well, some stuff I I like because I have I have signed. I know material that uh, I cannot share yeah. too much. Well, just give us a hint. Um, I don't. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Give me something. Give me something. Give the love and victory audience. I don't. I don't really. Well, I do know she has shirts now. Do you have I do yeah. have. Um, Amazon Style Kita Lifestyle sweatshirts. Mm-hmm. And, but that's um, not big enough. I need something bigger. Oh my goodness. I'm trying mm-hmm. to I'm trying to think of something that's big. 
we the first of the year, you know, so I'm trying to think of what's going to be, you know, keeping up with Kita. Oh, there you go. Did you hear what she said? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so I just have to see. I mean, you know. It's just a lot going on. I got on with working contracts going. Put it like that. So <laughs> until we sign the dotted line. We can't talk about it. But I she, will, she will it. definitely come back on the Love and Victory show yes. and share with us yes. live. Yes. Once the ink is on the paper. Yes, because okay. I do so much with Amazon and yes. I just, you know, yeah, I do got something it. upcoming with them. And yes. I'm, I'm ecstatic about that. So, so if that is something big, it's something upcoming with that and uh -huh. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about and it. And we're going, we're going to talk about it on here. <laughs> uh, again, uh, guys, thank y'all so much for tuning in with the Love and Victory Show with Val. You got to go and check out Style Kita. She is going to have you ready for any event. When I tell you I was the belle of the ball three years ago and I'm still the belle of the ball, uh, just stop by her shop anytime, go online. Uh, she also responds to her Instagram and her messages. So if you have a question about style, reach out to her. She is your girl. Yes. All righty. I love you and thank you love so you much. Too. Bye. Bye. Bye.